okay guys to continue from where i ended with the previous video uh, i will be showing you on how to um, actually uh, simulate uh, an AND gate a basic AND gate on ft spice okay so we are required to build an OR gate uh, a two input OR gate an AND gate an AND gate and an AND gate then we complete the two table for uh, each of them and Part two says we must uh, design the circuit and also uh, implement, we must design the circuit and also obtain the two uh, table as shown here on figure 1.2. Okay, so on our LT Spice, uh, I will show, I wouldn't show you everything uh, step by step on how to do it because you are required to uh, have a basic knowledge on, on what's happening. So I'm, I'm trying to guide you uh to to be able to carry out this uh project so what you need to do is we need uh, two inputs all right so our two inputs in this case will use a voltage source and uh, just place them like this then our voltage sources uh, uh will will make them uh, a pulse uh, will give them a pulse uh, signal okay our initial voltage usually doesn't really matter in this case so we can give it a zero then our v on we can just give it a five volt our delay we can give it a zero in this case it doesn't matter then our rise and fall time i believe you have an idea about this from etn one b so i wouldn't go into much detail explaining on what each uh each uh fill means so our rise and fall time like the rise and fall time of your of your wave so in this case, I'll give it a five nanoseconds. Um, four times should be the same like your rise time. Then our T on, we can give it a 10 a milliseconds and a 20 milliseconds. Then we say, okay. So now uh, we can just adjust this by moving it a little bit this side. And then we need to also uh, give the parameters of a pulse uh, uh, wave to this uh, other V2 so we can say uh zero for initial five for t or v on then the delay we give it a zero then uh same two like v1 five nanoseconds and five nanoseconds but now for a t on you must be very careful here your t uh your t on must be separate like must be like times two your v1 for v2 your t on for v2 must be times two so we give it 20 milliseconds and your period would be times two of your t on so we can give it um, 40 milliseconds so we can also move this uh at the corner to make it clean okay then we need to include our and gate to include our and gate we just type here and okay then we bring up the AND gate here okay so uh, we, we can actually change this label to uh, maybe S and R or something anything that you like depending on the circuit so I'll just put here R then I'm gonna put here maybe I'm gonna put here my output Y okay so now we need to connect this circuit using the wire so you can use either F3 the wire okay you need to wire up the circuit then we place it fit it up here to the input of the AND gate then uh, also here F3 okay we fit it up here then uh, our, our output also need to fit out our output but to make our output more readable and uh, understandable we need to include a label so that when we, we when we view them at the on the waveform we should be able to identify the output so for the port type we need to select an output guys should be an output then i can give it maybe s okay i can say s underscore uh and gate uh underscore uh maybe r the two inputs are s and r so i'll just okay then i'll place my output there okay so i need to do what i need to edit my simulation i'll say maybe uh stop time after maybe 150 it stops there because the my figure my uh, signal will stop at that point maybe 50 milliseconds 
uh, so small letters i just say okay and then we need to run the the simulation so after you run the simulation you get this so uh, I, I usually make this a little bit big and nice so that it can be view uh it can be view like it should have a very uh a bigger graph so i'll just use a vertical tile okay then i'll i'll, sh I'll divide this into three three plots okay then for each plot i will display the input the out the the, the two inputs and the output so for the very first input, I'll just click on the first uh, portion and then I'll place my cursor here. Then it gives me that. Then on the second, I'll just place my cursor here and I place it here. It gives me this. Then at the output, uh, I also place my cursor and I place my output here. All right. So as you can see, with an AND gate, okay, with an AND gate, when both uh, inputs are high, as you can see, the output is high. When uh, one of the output or one of the inputs, one of the inputs are high, and one is low, we have a, a low output. When both input and output are low, we have a low in uh, output. When both uh, output are high, we have a high output. So from these, you can be able to get your truth table and you fill up your truth table. Okay. So on your report, you must include this under your methodology on your results. Okay. This must be included on your results then the you can include this by saying by just clicking there and come to view then you can copy clip map copy uh, the bitmap to the clipboard then you paste this on uh, on your on your word okay your word document when you write in your report then for this circuit you must also uh, maybe use um, a sniping tool to copy this circuit make it big uh, visible as much as you can and paste it on on your uh, methodology or your description okay you paste it there uh, and you comment on this result on the description and you conclude um, so that's how it's done so for this uh, you have to do for an all gate for an, a two input and gate in two input uh, none gate then you, you draw their two tables then for for figure two okay uh, I'll just show you the the figures. I'll close this up. Okay, close the simulation. For figure two, it's something similar to this. Okay, so uh, this is our exclusive uh, XO. This is our two XO. So you take the output of the first out XO you fed into uh, the output of the second XO. Then same to the vice versa output of this and and fed to the input of P okay so now uh, you also uh, get the parameters as you can see i'll just take parameters as you can see uh, it must not be exactly like this you can there are many ways of doing it but then this is just one of the uh, ways or an idea of what's happening so uh, after this one you can after uh, drawing your your circuit like this you can uh, as well simulate so um for this one i'm going to close this I don't need this so I'm going to make this a little bit bigger it's too big okay you can use this uh, then I'll make this um, vertical okay right so now I also create uh, maybe four pl four plots here okay to display my my various uh, inputs and outputs so for the very first one i click there for s i take it from here it displays then for um for the output um p okay uh, i'll place my cursor here uh, no uh, this should be only this one okay then for the very first one then for the second one you click must make sure you click on the second space there or on this second um, uh, plot then you place your cursor here then you get the waveform then same to applies with this one you click here you get the waveform okay and you click here and you get the waveform so you can see uh, VXO or V 
RXOP, you can see that is the output, then uh, R uh, S X O Q that is another output. So uh, you can read your output based on what you see here. Like uh, you get if uh, V or S is high and R is high, what happens? So you read your values here. Okay, I wouldn't tell you what is exactly happening, so you try to figure it out. But in case you need assistance, don't hesitate to send us an email or uh, the lecturer is going to send or create uh, an, an announcement on Blackboard. So you should watch out uh, where uh, when you receive, you must read what uh, he sends. So there he will create a WhatsApp group, a link where you can also join uh, and ask questions or you can send emails uh, and we attend to them if you have any questions, any worries or, or you need assistance. So this is, you also have to fill up the truth table uh, as per the given figure here, figure one. So you fill up the figure, figure 1.2, okay. So this will be all for uh, practical uh, practical one, number one, digital systems. So you are, you are, you are expected to submit this practical uh, next week. Okay, you have one week to do this practical and there will be a link uh, that will be created for you to submit the report based on on this okay so um uh, i think that's all for this session um in case there is any questions please feel free to ask and i wish you guys um, the best of luck and see you uh, in the next practical bye bye